Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you something on Mac OS around automation. So basically the use case here is I've got Microsoft Teams running for my job and I want to automate starting and stopping Microsoft Teams so that when I'm not working, it doesn't look like I'm at my desk. And uh, I could have just signed out or changed my status, but the problem was the next day I'd forget to change my status or sign back in or relaunch Microsoft Teams. So this is what I did to fix it. I wanna share it with you because I thought it was pretty cool. We're gonna start here with your applications on Mac OS. If you go to your applications folder, for me it's in my favorites on the left hand side. You can also get to it via your dock, which I've got blocked, you can't see it right now. But in your applications, you should have an application called Automator. And it may be something you haven't played around with yet and I'm gonna show you how you can play around with it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create an automation and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you create an application, okay? Application is something that's gonna run whenever it's opened by something, when you double click on it or another application opens it. A workflow is something you're gonna to have to run manually um, or scripted or something like that. So make sure, make sure, make sure you do an application when you're doing this. I've already got one up behind me and that is my closed Microsoft Teams. Notice it says application there in parentheses. So, um, and you can't see that, I just checked my screen. So let me scoot that down there. Um, there it is, closed Microsoft Teams and application in parentheses right there at the top. And it has one action and that's quit application. So if we go to, I think it was utilities, on the folder library there on the left hand side. I'll zoom in here and post so you can see it. But if you click on utilities, there should be a quit application action. You just pick this up and you drag it over onto the canvas over here. And then what I did is I went and found Microsoft Teams. So I had to hit other, and then I had to go find Microsoft Teams in my application menu. And then I made sure I unchecked the ask to save changes. I don't want it to save any changes. I want it to just quit Microsoft Teams when I'm at a certain time of day, right? We'll get to that in here in a little bit, uh, just a little bit. So this is the closed Microsoft Teams application. There's one more. There's a launch Microsoft Teams application. Of course, it would open on the other screen over there. But this is what it looks like. You can see I named it Launch Microsoft Teams, and I use the launch application that can also be found in the utilities. So I'll click on it here so you can see utilities here on the left hand side and launch application is the one that I picked up and dragged over to the canvas. And again, I went searching for Microsoft Teams using the other menu and was able to select that and now uh, that is gonna open Microsoft Teams or launch Microsoft Teams. So that was like the first half of it. And then I was like, hmm, now how do I get this to happen at 8 a.m. in the morning to launch it and close it around 6 p.m. in the evening? So I was from a Windows, I was like looking for a task scheduler or something like that. Well, it turns out all you have to do is use your calendar. So let me get rid of this behind the screen here and let's take a look at the calendar. So notice you can already see it, I've got quit Microsoft Teams, launch Microsoft Teams all over my calendar. All I had to do was create an event. So for the quit Microsoft Teams at 6 p.m. or 1800, you can see it there, it's gonna do an alert. So I basically said, uh, none of these, I don't want time of day or anything like that for my alert, I want a custom one. And when you choose a custom one, you tell it to open a file. And then when you tell it to open a file, you go to other again. And this time, you're gonna look in your applications folder and you should have launch and close Microsoft Teams as applications that are sitting there now when you saved them in Automator. So I'm gonna choose close Microsoft Teams, hit okay. Oh, and I want it to happen at the time of the event. So at 1800 or 6 p.m. in the evening, I wanted to go ahead and close Microsoft Teams. And that was it. I'll go ahead and reset them all. Um, and now it's gonna repeat forever and ever and ever. Um, I didn't care about the weekends because uh, sometimes I work it on the weekend, but I wanted it to be done by about six o'clock in the evening. Same thing for the launch Microsoft teams I followed the same process I did an alert I did custom we did open file I did launch Microsoft teams and I did it at the time of the event and now after I'm done in the evening usually between 5 and 6 it'll close Microsoft teams and when I come in the morning around 8 30 it has already opened Microsoft teams at 8 a.m. and I am ready to go and I don't have to worry about it looking to everybody like I'm still working even though I'm probably doing something 
you know, with videos or something related, but I'm not working and it shouldn't look like I'm working. So that was an example with Microsoft Teams. You could do this with any application where you want to launch it, start it. And I hope to show you more automator stuff as I get to know the application and start using it more to automate some of my activities. But anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in automation on Mac OS. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.